This is the Banton Run Show. We're live. We're live. Today we are not back. We are live. Mon Kambwami. Everybody say, we're live. We're live. We're live. We're live. <laughs> we're live. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you guys know what we do on this show. We rant. We talk. Everything pertaining, you know, the industry, our livelihoods. Obiyans. We talk about it. On to introductions. My name is Forever Ajwa Adi. I am Anisa, popularly known as Biawarbi. Popularly known as? Biawarbi. Sorry? <laughs> no. Bia <laughs> 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 It's a Gonja name. It's my okay. middle name. Okay. Oh. Biawarbi. Okay. Nice to meet you, Anisa. And then? Remy. Hi, Remy. Hi. You look lovely. Thank you. I like you the green too. hair. Mm. You're rocking the top. Halloween. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I see. <laughs> and then finally, we yeah, have yeah, Nene. Yeah. Okay, I'm, sh- I'm sure you guys are wondering what we're coming to talk about today. It's simple. I think this one is, you know, highly requested. Mm. And it's, <laughs> should people in a relationship be friends with single people? You guys have heard the phrase. Oh, okay. Show right? me your friend. Yeah, show yeah, me yeah, your friend. Let me show you your like your character or something like that. So people on social media are claiming that... Somebody in a relationship, and can only single person there. How? Where's the correlation? Do you think single people should not be friends with? Uh, I don't think. You don't think so? Why? Because you are not friends with them because they are single. Okay. You are friends with them because of their qualities, their personality. Mm-hmm. So if you stop being friends with them because just because you got married, if you or divorce, you got into a relationship. or you go into a relationship, mm-hmm. if you divorce or you break up. You also become single. Then what excuse are you going to tell them? Oh, I'm single now. So like, you know. Okay. Let's be friends <laughs> yeah. again. It, it, it makes, doesn't make sense It makes no you. sense to Okay. Me. All right. Remy? Yeah, same. I also don't think it's okay. Except you are able to control the boundaries in terms of the kind of conversations okay. you have with the single persons. And you had those friends before you got into your relationship or marriage mm-hmm. in the first place. Mm-hmm. It is making other friends after your relationship that you should be more careful about. Okay. But the friends you already have, who are friends? There are some people that are just acquaintances. You only see them once in a while when you go out to hang out. Aside those friends you have from the basics who have always been there for you. Mm-hmm. Relationship or marriage is, is just like any other milestone you are getting. Like you completed school before me. Doesn't mean yeah. that you can't work with me anymore. Okay. So I like that. Yeah. You can break up. Who are you going to cry on? It's my shoulder. You come back. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> I welcome you back to the street. So. Wow. <laughs> you see. <laughs> okay. Okay. That's a good one. Nene. Well, I feel this conversation in itself... It's not even supposed to be discussed mm-hmm. because like everyone was single at some point. Right. Now, the fact that you you are in a relationship or you are married doesn't give you a bump up in your intellect or in in your lifestyle or whatever. Okay. Mm-hmm. You're just the plus one. Mm-hmm. You understand? Yeah. It's, it's a nice thing, but it doesn't mean you don't need the people who are single. Mm-hmm. Now, the people who are single... Uh, people you knew before your relationship or maybe even during or after your relationship. Now, there are things you might share in common. Okay. And it's not on the basis of your relationship. Yeah. Okay. So not being friends with single people because you're in a relationship or because you're married, you you need to understand the the purpose of that relationship you're having with whoever you, you think is single or mm-hmm. is not in a relationship to mm-hmm. and set boundaries like you said. Like there are certain people whose lifestyles may affect your relationship. So you you know when and how to relate to them. Okay. Yeah. But it's not because you're in a relationship. You'd be like, oh, all single people get away yeah. from me. Okay. It doesn't make sense. Someone was complaining on Twitter recently that um, ever since his friend got into a relationship, ever since his friend got a girlfriend, he's not available for them to chill and hang out like they used to. So with something like that, I think that is, it's not normal, but it is a bit normal. The only difference is it's either the friend doesn't want to make time for them. Mm -hmm. One, two, maybe the girlfriend doesn't feel comfortable going out with a friend. Maybe she doesn't like the friends. Okay. 
though he's trying to limit his interaction with a friend. But do you agree that once you're in a relationship, your movements change? Like things, certain things you used to do, you don't even do them anymore. Yes, I do agree with that. Yeah. I really, really agree with that because, for example, I'm in a relationship. I don't go out as much anymore. Okay. Because one, if I go out, let's be honest, I'm a girl. If mm-hmm. I go out... They'll be hitting on you. Yes. <laughs> and it's very, very uncomfortable when they say... But your boyfriend doesn't need to know. I, it's, it's, wow. It's a very, oh. very uncomfortable <laughs> thing. Or if they try to dance with you and also it's up to you to set your boundaries for those type of things. Mm. And sometimes those boundaries tend to distance you from your friends okay. or tend to alienate you from your friends mm. to a certain extent. Yeah. So with that, it just depends on the communication with the friend. How okay. you tell them that, oh, this is the reason of this, 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 this and that. Mm. Okay, well, I think the friends should also be respectful enough and they are not always single they also get into their relationships Mm -hmm. they are not all the time single so they just have to respect the space and it's not like you said it's not everything you used to do that you can comfortably do because your decisions affect your partner you you no longer have to you have to be accountable to somebody right so those friends when they are calling you at certain odd hours and even when you hear that there is another voice and you know your friend is in a relationship. Mm-hmm. You should be respectful. You know, oh, you have company. Then I'll call you back. Maybe today you can't make it. We should be able to accept those. It's not every time, even if you are single, it's not every time they call you to go somewhere that you go. And the agenda, your friends, your, the places you go also count. Yeah, you know, say, no you're just waiting for somebody to come and pay somebody, somebody to collect somebody's number. <laughs> if it is that kind of hangout. I see. And there are some boys that still follow you. <laughs> some of your partners, they want to do things like that with you. Okay. So then it looks Wingman. like, maybe I'm pressing my call, you know, I've got someone who yeah. really takes me there. Yeah, maybe, so, maybe, maybe I'm in a relationship now, but I'm still your dope best wingman so yeah you need well, help so? you need help to get get into a relationship yourself so yeah okay you understand <laughs> get maybe that. your friend in that relationship is the wingman so without his availability it's like yo i can't i can't move you, understand? you know you know you know that people, backbone you know that the people who can't talk to girls if their friends are not around yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's just one of those there things. Are people I, like that though. Yeah. Yeah, but what happened to your friend is not there. You won't go and talk to a girl because you like it. Nah, well, but everyone needs some kind of support. You understand? Mm. So call them. You're not supposed to Give be me support bitchy about, about the it. Phone. But like you, you make time when you can make time because mm-hmm. now he's booed up. That's okay. the thing. Yeah. But but I think all this from the other side might also come from an angle of insecurity. Okay. Like say the person in a relationship being like, okay, now you don't need to um, hang out with your single friends mm-hmm. anymore. It might be like an angle of insecurity because assuming you're, you're with a girl and uh, your all your girl's friends are girls who... Uh, they are bad bitches. Yeah, they are bad bitches. <laughs> they are with daddies and all that. They are with OGs and all that. <laughs> right. Now... When you start a relationship with your girl, mm-hmm. you might not necessarily want <coughs> to see her hanging out so much with, with them because of the influence you think they might have. They on might her. have, okay. But, you guess it because but with that, she was a bad bitch before you met her. You want to change a bad <coughs> the bitch? The policies were there. No, 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 no. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. <laughs> like, now, what did you now, say? You, know, you want to change a bad bitch to a church wife. You know, you know a, a lot of these girls don't stay bad bitches forever. Yeah. That is. Now, true. now you have your bad bitch era. Mm-hmm. While you're trying to get out of your bad bitch era, maybe your friends are not like trying to get so you think that bad bitches city is an era yes. and it passes yes. it's people, the same thing for guys too yeah there are some born people, and bred bad yeah. bitches yeah. there are some people who keep it up till, till death do them pass yes. born yeah, and but bred bad, bad bitches they don't play same thing for the guys too there are some people who keep up with manizing there are some people who manizing. no but then wait wait bitches. yes bad bitches so like, is different uh, from bad bitches wait hold on how is it different how is it different manizing it's in the name Womanizing. Mm-hmm. But too much. <laughs> you follow women too much. How about what do you think bad bitches? But with bad is? bitches, you are just a bad bitch. What, For what, one, what to one person. Like, so, like, like bad bitches saying, when they are single, no, but we are not talking, sure. But we are when not talking about a being a bad bitch in a relationship. We are talking about be, being Generally. A, but I don't want to say being a hoe, but like being... No, it's not say, a, say it, say it. Please. Okay, that's what you meant to say. Yeah, like that that level of Wait, bad there's bitching. A different, yeah. There's a not, difference yeah. between being a bad bitch and being a hoe. Yeah. Okay, yeah. that's the no, whole... No, so I, I just... Some I just bad said, bitches are I not hoes. I bad bitch because I didn't want to say that. He used word. the word. Yeah. Right, yeah. okay. Yeah, so basically now putting things in perspective, like talking about bad bitches, the ones that like... I'm on I'm not it. You understand? I'm not today. Maybe I feel almost touchy for their sweethearts before they also pour. 
<laughs> wow. I think I, I think in all you shouldn't have to lose your identity while because you are in a relationship. Yeah, At the okay. end of it, you as the lady or the guy, whatever you used to do, it's not as if you are changing completely because that is what it's attracted the person to you so in the first place. Yeah, but you there's some so alterations you need, yeah. to, you need to, to adjust. Yeah, to suit. It. So it is in your conversations and in in the boundaries you set with a friend. It, it, it all really depends on you. Can go out with your friends, go to the beach side, go for brunch, sit down, and then have a good time and still go back home without necessarily doing anything. Mm, but yeah. you know, you know, you're accounting to somebody back home. So your friends shouldn't stop you from what if all your friends are also in a relationship and you guys are having your girls' time out. The guys also do go play football sometimes with their guys. They go to the gym. Maybe they also go and have a drink somewhere. And I don't think the ladies really complain about as far as you're not doing anything right. that is affecting your current relationship. Okay. And another thing about the whole people in relationships shouldn't be friends to single people. Most often than not, it comes from people going for... Let me just use the bad bitch example. Okay. Let's say you're an introvert. You're like calm. You don't go out all the time. Yeah. You fall for somebody who is a bad bitch. She falls for you too, obviously. All of that. She knows her boundaries. Mm -hmm. But because you know that she was a bad bitch before you met her, and you know her friends are bad bitches too, you're afraid that her, like, her friends will be like, oh, but he's not enough for you. Like, look at how calm. So yeah. it comes from that place that she was like this before I met her. What if she doesn't want to change? Let me just mm -hmm. stop her from being yeah, it's, friends it's an with her friends. Mm -hmm. It's yeah, an insecurity. You think that's it's insecurity? Because yeah. sometimes some of these things slowly build up on you because like you keep seeing her with her friends and her friends are still in that life mm -hmm. and you feel like, yo, it's just a snap away from switching from where she is now and going to, back to yeah, her back life. Back to where she was. Because obviously like the bad bitches who are bad bitching are doing <laughs> things, getting bags, in yeah. some ways, yeah, you get it. Yeah, and and she has locked herself up with you. Okay. You get it. So sometimes like you just feel insecure about you. Mm -hmm. Like, what if she feels like I'm I'm not she's missing yeah, out on she's something. Missing out on yeah. something. No, so you take yeah. her on those 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 yeah, things. And I feel like you also trust your partner. Together. Yeah, yeah, when there's the tr the yeah. trust factor should be there. Because sometimes I've seen people who get into relationships and then like their boyfriends are like, Okay, I don't want you hanging out with this the people, particular this, this particular circle of yeah. friends, these people that you used to hang out with, I don't want you associating with them. The dictator in, yeah. boyfriends. The dictator boyfriends, yeah. right? Because yeah. I feel like, yeah, like they can lure you into certain areas, yeah. certain, because you can never tell, right? Like mm -hmm. people are unpredictable. You yeah. never know. Yeah. So like you said, insecurity, it's that one too is there. But then let me get, give this to the ladies. But in that case, I think there's a valid reason for it. You <laughs> okay. just, but with your partner, I think you just need to like, Openly talk about it yeah. and understand each other. Communication yeah. mm. makes sense. Communication. To the ladies, there's this notion out there that women, especially when they are go, when they are female friends, their other friends, when they get into a relationship, like you guys have been single, you guys run the street, you guys do whatever you want to do, right? You run the world, girl. Yes. <laughs> and then one finally gets into a relationship, right? They say that. To drag them out, out <laughs> of the relationship. Of that relationship. I don't think it's a woman thing. Uh -huh. I think it's a human, human thing. Human thing. Guys because they are terrible. Guys do it then. And then guys do it. Guys hardly do it. It's not hardly to the woman because when I, when you go on social media, it's mostly the women yeah. that you see. Yeah, guys mostly. It is, it is, I think it is more of the access. It's, there being, it's, it's the small jealousy with amongst friendship. Like I have access to you. I'm no longer having that access with you anymore. And there is there is different ways everybody takes their friends. Maybe you honor far than for not very personal right. Maybe, uh, I want to go here with you mm -hmm. and it was always like that mm -hmm. and now it has it's changed like so whatever they'll have to do if if they would even have to come and get comfortable in your relationship become that friendship yeah, to your you know. goals you know where your partner and them they know each, they know each other so oh many way I'm crying I don't mind or sometimes we can, she can tag along or something okay yeah so they would such people but if you notice that they are in to drag you out of where you are not you are not ready to leave unless mm -hmm. you are going through something, unless unless it's, it's abusive. And you see, the, the the difference is that the conversations are different because the I think the reason why is it it's not it's like it's not advisable to hang out with single people because you think they cannot relate to the issues you talk about. Maybe exactly. you are complaining yeah, about this, and mm -hmm. they are like in a giant. But you know that it's not just 
a living matter. You can just get or you should know your friends you... and know how rational hmm. they are in certain situations. Also, keyword is, rational. Yes, they've also, also been in relationships. Yes, exactly what I was about to say. They've also been in relationships. So, because like, there are certain fire. things they obviously have experienced mm-hmm. more or less. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Your friends have been through it. You yeah. are in love. Mm-hmm. You don't see the telltale signs. You but don't see the red flags. Your friends might have been through it. But they, like, won't, they won't let you be through. Definitely. They won't let you yeah. go through your space. If they see... Yeah. What, you see, sometimes <laughs> the person might not be a red flag, but they might have some virtues that your that were red flags for your friends' relationships. Yeah. That is when that comes into play. To you, maybe the, your partner will do something, but... It's not who they are. Mm-hmm. But to your friends, their partner did that and it es- it was small, small. It escalated till it became like a terrible, toxic relationship. Yeah. So when they see those things, they get worried. They want you to leave because they think or they feel that you're going to go through what they went through. And that's yeah. what comes into play when it says women like to drag the other women out of relationships because they are just, they don't yeah. want you to go well, through the okay, same thing. But then I feel like what is a deal breaker for you may not be a deal breaker for yeah. me. There are people with cheating partners and they know their partners are cheating. Yeah, they me. cannot even do anything about it. They've Some decided people have long suffering. to stay there. And Regardless, maybe to another yeah. partner, that, that would be it. Once mm-hmm. you cheat, I cannot even stand it. Yeah. So it's different. It's different what you are tolerating with the compromises and sacrifices you're making mm-hmm. for yeah. this person. Okay. And usually things you would even sacrifice for this person. Another person, you will not be able to do the same thing for them. Yeah. And just say, with their own pesa, but we kaya, they are working. Yeah, it is that person to me. Yeah. yeah, so I think at the end of the day, we should just have to limit, we are all learning in the mm. process, yeah. we have to limit the talking with certain people who you know say, Hey, except it's not me if I'm that friend, and I know that physically you are being abused, or Chinawa sending me photo, your eye is black, they are, I will enter the house and drag you. Oh, I'll be the person for you. Oh, yes. Who we'll pull up for you? Some people, some some ladies decide to stay because when they look at the good times they've had yeah. compared to the bad times, mm-hmm. it outweighs the bad. If yeah, it is understand. marriage, so, really. So, so uh, most of these things you might not know because they obviously might not share a hundred percent with you. Yeah. So yeah. from your perspective, no matter how much thinking, you know a person, you yes. don't know a hundred. From your perspective, you might be thinking, there. "Oh, I'm always hearing he's beating her." Blah blah blah. But Maybe he does more good for her than than but bad, and you never know that. Yeah. Now, now it's it's an issue of you either trying to help them solve mm. or going in and dragging them out because based on what you know, yeah, you understand. Okay. But also now coming to um, other female friends poking into their other friends' relationships. Now the other side of that is some of them want your man. Yes, uh, there is I was that. I was coming to that. Yes. <laughs> Some people, <laughs> some it. of your friends, some, some of, them of want your, your friends want your man. It's they not every advice so that you sorry. have to take. And I see before you realize, I don't know what you to say. Mm. Now, now, quick, quick example. Yeah. I I have a friend, and at some point, he had issues with his uh, with his girlfriend. Yeah. And later on, when all this was settled and blah blah blah, mm-hmm. later on, his girl was having issues with her friends. Yeah. And it turned out that one of her friends was saying shit about her. Mm-hmm. And it looked like the one that was saying shit about her was like, oh, even your man Carl likes me. And blah, yeah, blah, blah. Once meanwhile, you start saying those things, it's a problem. Yes. Meanwhile, meanwhile, the guy had never moved to that person. So it was a lie. It was a lie. Meanwhile, the guy had never moved to... She's not even his type. <laughs> Some people lie. You understand? <laughs> so some of these girls are just out there lying because they feel like they are they are the shit. But yeah. like you're really not. Mm. Wow. <laughs> no, but then I mean, thing to see. Yes. Collecting your mind, yeah. Me, you're not not it's it's it. conditional. Nobody you understand? Like, like yo, somebody. someone is with someone because that's who they like. Mm-hmm. Now you are jumping in saying that, oh, this person even moved to me when they haven't. Like, yo, how do you see yourself? Okay. What the heck? And you were, also, you were saying now, something. a lot of guys respect themselves. They are with you. They are not going to move after your friend just like that. Bombastic side eye. I, I mean, see now, it. They are not I going to move to your friend just like I, I know there are exceptions, but a lot uh, of guys... Take that part again. Understand. A lot of guys what? A lot of guys respect themselves. There are exceptions. Oh, okay. Maybe they've started to respect Anita, themselves. you don't agree. <laughs> they've started to no. respect themselves. No, there are exceptions <laughs> because it's in rare occasions where you'd see a guy, um, a guy's friend, Friend, go after mm-hmm. his girl. It's in rare occasions. Now, most of the time, girls go after their girlfriend's boys. Mm. No, not necessarily. Not isn't there like go girl, after isn't there like girl code? Oh, no, there is girl code. There is there is girl code. There's girl code. No, bro code is tighter than girl code. Bro code is tighter than girl code. 
yes. even with exes. She's agreeing to that. Bro code, bro code, bro code is tighter than, tighter than, than girl code. Yes, tighter than girls. Yeah, so we can't have that. Bro code, bro code is tighter than girl code. I would have to host a different segment for that because we have to get. Bro code is tighter than girl code. Of course, bro code is tighter than girl code. Some girl code can. Yo, 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 yo. Your girl calls your friend and is asking about you, and right there he knows you. I need to have my niggas back. Damn. <laughs> Yo, some of the Damn. girls will be like, mm, you have not seen her. She even sat in the no. car with somebody. No, no, no. Oh. Okay, then, okay, maybe it's my experiences wait, wait, wait. because it depends on the kind of circle. It right, depends on it depends on your, your, your group of bad bitches, eh? My girls, if. Oh, have you seen? Oh, yes, she just left my room. She's going to buy cocoa. They or will lie for She'll you. She'll be back right now. Like, they w- then later they'll call, Oh, why are you? Like, they're asking where no, you are. No, but like, we really need to jump into this. Bro oh, code is freaking tight as a girl still. code. It depends. Bro code it depends. Because I know people who live by girl code. Like, they will not yeah. flaunt it. That girl ever. code is like two lines. Okay. Bro it's, code, not too, it's not two bro lines. Code, we have a Bible. We have a Please, freaking let's Bible. Be serious. <laughs> Guys, let me know down there in the comment section. Do you believe that bro code is actually better and tighter than girl code because some, some, some girls take it to the grave is that serious really it's that serious if girls, if girls want it's to keep serious. secrets if girls want to keep secrets it will go to the grave uh-huh. but guys are like very loyal to their male friends okay yeah super loyal I see there's a type of loyalty yeah, that is, is like this like this, that's why you be are saying bro code is tighter than girl code oh, <laughs> oh my, yeah. mm. now the last thing right People say that, uh, yeah, this is the final one. And especially, mostly when it comes to the people in marriages, <clears throat> these advices sometimes come, come from the parents and like the family members. They're like, oh, yeah. True. They're like, I why worry? You're trying to keep a home. You're trying to, you know, keep a family together, sustain it to, to, the, to the lengths. You have your parents tell you that, we're done for four now. Muni brabia bona. Hey, it's in your phone. Muni brabia bona. They be almost sorry. I know Muni am chrome pants, some pants. Muni brabia bono. Don't associate with them. No, ni pa be say you cry. No, here foot to a foot to bend or the bend out. Like you, you hear, you hear it all the time. It's crazy talk. I feel like that is rooted in what happened their time. Okay. I feel like it's rooted in also what we call our Ghanaian culture because they feel like you are married and your friend is single, so they'll go and bring bad behavior into it. But forgetting that, you didn't, again, this is why I said at the beginning, you didn't make friends with the person because they are a single person. Mm-hmm. Because of their qualities, their personality, what they can give you, what you give them, how mm-hmm. you relate with each other. If I'm going to drop the person because I am married, God forbid, let's say I get divorced Mm -hmm. and this person was my um, stronghold, my lighthouse in all of my bad times and I left them because I am married. I get divorced. What am I going to tell the person? I'm divorced now. So you see, it was because I was married. That is such a very, honestly, it's a very stupid excuse. You can go to Lighthouse Chapel. And probably she's also married now. Go home. (laughs) Go home. And and if the person also gets married. You can even go to Jamestown. Again, go home. Let's be serious. (laughs) And if the person also gets married and you end up being the single person, let's mm-hmm. say you get divorced, they will turn that against you that, no, I'm the one who's married. So I'm sorry, I can't associate with you. You ended your relationship because of somebody who might not even stay in your life for the entire time. Mm-hmm. It's just... It, it goes both ways. Yeah, yeah, of course. I see. Yeah. I think the parents pressure thing, parents know their children very well. Before okay. you got married, okay, okay. they knew you and the kind of friends you were hanging out with. They knew the time you they come house. They know how them they wait for you and they lock the gate sometimes on you. <laughs> so, <laughs> they know the lifestyle you were already into before you got married. Yeah. So if parents are on you like that about certain friends, then they've seen who you are. They know you're, they know you are, you are slippery. You can easily slide back. <laughs> So, and, and because your, if your parents should know one or two close friends, only say, any way, any way, you can go to their house. And they, 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 if they've, they have to, they would have to accept them before you can even invite them. And then, so you think for that their the advice is sourced from something because they, yeah, they, it's from you, the daughter. You, so they know, they you. know, yes. Yeah, so if they yeah. ever have to advise you in your marriage about certain friends, you were really cool with them. Then it's just, yeah, it is part of you. They are looking out for you yeah. for, because of you. Okay. Because oh, if they know their sense. daughter is not yeah, pressured by sense. certain things, uh, yeah. that makes, that makes a lot of sense. Okay. Yeah. No, I, I, I think. Obviously, I've, I've been shooting weddings for a while mm-hmm. and I've heard this quite a number of times. Yeah. And I think it's, it has become another wave of generic, generic um, advices. Yeah. 
Yeah, because people say these things without personalizing it to whoever is in that relationship yeah. or whoever yeah. is getting married. Right. Yeah. Now, you, you just don't give generic advices in certain situ- situations. <clears throat> okay. You need to personalize it based on what you know about that person. You just don't say... Stop hanging out with your single friends because yeah, yeah because Koku Menu son yeah. was hanging out Based with a single of somebody friend. else's yeah. experience. No, yeah, the that. comparison you don't thing. Do that. Yeah, it's, so they generalize yeah. everything without personalizing it. That's why sometimes when older people are trying to advise younger people, they are like, "Yo, you are even talking yeah, too much." Because, because you are just generalizing, generalizing everything. everything. You are saying something that someone else did that I'll probably not do. In fact, okay. they mean yeah. more, more, more sorry, yeah, more. They don't you understand. Even, yes, it is yes, what it's not personalized. It is not about you. Yep. It is more meaning yep. why you're talking to me. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Those part of them. You see, okay. what you said about the they may know, that's why they're advising. I feel like that one too is a bit sketchy because they're not in their relationship with you. Yes, let's say, yes, you go out, you come back at 4 a.m. Mm-hmm. That what if it was that friend who brought you back safely? Let's say right. you were clubbing, you were partying, yada, yada, yada. What if it's that friend who made sure that nobody spiked your drink, nobody did anything to you? Mm-hmm. But because your parents see that, oh, they, they brought you at 4 a.m., so obviously it's their fault you're coming back at yes. 4 a.m., they'll make their own conclusions from mm-hmm. it. That's why I feel like it is your relationship with the person. Okay. If you feel like, okay, when I was with this person, they weren't leading me in correct this thing. You limit or you stop the friendship yeah. because yeah. it might end up affecting your relationship. Yeah. But if you base it on your parents, some parents actually do not know their kids. Of That's course. True. You only know yeah. 10% yeah. Someone, of their kids. Someone posted you should on know your kids. Maybe my mom would say, don't follow this girl. She she will advise your friends against me because like <laughs> right yeah. yeah. She'll like she'll say what I don't follow her. She will do she that like, to me. Ah, so my mother she just knows called who you me. Are. She was like, ah, whoa, so I don't follow no. I'm more in here. I'm more influenced. So see, I want die with it. It was like my mother doesn't yeah. know that it's me. I'm the yeah. ring. Yeah. Sometimes your child is the <laughs> ring. Nah, let be openly stubborn. Let your parents not say this is. That's the thing. Lots of people hide things from their parents. So they know what you are capable things, yeah. of and what you are not. And yeah. that thing is very pricey. You go and visit your kid, you hear some information about them. Like, and you are shocked. Some parents can even faint. But then there are some that are tell, oh, only me but no, one tia see it. Like yeah. later they'll blast you. They, they know yeah. you are capable yeah, yeah, of, yeah, of doing course. those things. Yeah. Like yeah, that say, makes sense. you wanna know, person who yeah, we now we so, we, 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 yeah, yeah, nobody is influencing you. I, mean, I feel I feel <laughs> we are all growing to a certain point, and there's no need to fear your parents after a certain age because yeah. like you should be open they, with them yeah, there, there, there are some parents that are different they are yes. yeah they are different I was coming to say that there are some parents but that's... in my case in my case <laughs> after like right from high school I was like cool with my dad and all that okay. not not that I wasn't cool with him before so but it became you. a lot yeah. more a lot more calm like smooth yeah. yeah so it was easier for me to tell them some of the things uh, some some things I had experienced and all that like I'm I'm open with them okay. so they wouldn't hear something from somewhere and be like, oh, this is new to them. I'll tell yeah. you before you, you know. know. Yeah. 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 I'm like, yo, I'm telling you because I want you to know and I've experienced it. Now, this is what I've taken from it and it's it's my life. Like, if I don't tell you or if you advise me against it, when you're not there, I might do it. Mm-hmm. So it's better I do it and tell you and you know that, that you, you this is where I'm at. Yeah. Let's, yeah, let's learn to not be too afraid of our brain. There's the respect, but be, let them know because... Hmm. They will not kill you. Nobody will kill they will you. They will not kill you, hey, really. Some parents mm-hmm. can mm-hmm. have you some been parents. in the Some parents. Oh, Anya, so what, what do you they do? What, what are you doing? Oh, yes, sir. You guys, let me know down there in the comment section. I really want to know, should couples, should married people, should people in a relationship mingle, be friends with, or associate with single people? Is it advisable? Is it something that you yourself, you would, you know, engage in? Let me know. We'll read and go back to you accordingly. Subscribe to the channel and we're Peace out, peace out. <laughs>